Yeah, let's just put some work in today. I got tomorrow off. Okay, so today's the last day to get better. For two more days, so let's put some fucking work in. Let's go. Pull over if you want. Like that. Let's do it. Let, let's just go right into supersets, bro. Yeah. That was something else. Let's go. but I want you to focus here. Good. Something so small, yeah. too much or too little of sodium or potassium or caffeine. Just and yeah, it's, it's important you recognize it. Yeah, bro, let's do this. It's a great day to get better, come on. Come on, it's a great day to get better, let's go. Last over there. And hit more rumbles with your delts mid back. You can finish with one move chest. I'd like to just come in along. Come in tomorrow and crush chest. Yeah. Okay, so. There you have it. I said today was the last day of the week I could train, but looks like I'm training tomorrow too. Gotta love this shit, man. Come on, we're both getting better today. Let's go. Come on, you're pushing me, I'm pushing you. Let's go, right now. Come on. Let's go. Stretch. Do that stretch first. Get away from here. Push it towards the mirror. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Uh, mirror, mirror. Nice. Uh, After a few good uh, exercises, moving some heavy weight, this is the time where I could go home and say, ah, it was a successful day. Or. More heavy lifts, more intense sets, super sets, drop sets. Be a champion. Everything I've done so far was to be a bodybuilder, but this shit, this is to be a champion. I feel better for the first time I have in two weeks, and then you actually, you know, step up your game a little bit. Raise your standard a little bit for one All of a sudden, training session. Get on that fucking wavelength that you want to be on. So I said, I woke up this morning and I realized some, I, don't, I guess you call it mistakes I was making. Like, like I said, maybe having too much caffeine on this and that, whatever. And, uh, okay, well, maybe I should back off the caffeine a little bit because that's not helping me, it's actually hurting me. And then mentally, I was clear, I had, I had a clear vision of going. Whether changes are made this week or not in my plan from my coach, progress will be made. Right, exactly. Uh, 
lines are starting to show through more. Yeah, I can tell my lines are coming. I'm just not like, I'm not hard and grainy yet because I'm not that peeled. Yeah. Like, you know at the end where it's just like, what the fuck? It's not obviously not there yet, but it's it's coming. You came in thinking you were going to train one thing, and you end up training back. Yeah, so 99.9% .9 of the time, I can tell you the day before what I'm going to train the next day. Like, for example, hey, most of you guys want to know what my training split has been and or is. Right now, I train usually Sunday through Friday. I start off Sunday with legs, hamstring dominant. So Sunday and Wednesday are my leg days. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is typically my upper body days. Beginning of the week, I usually do a solid back workout, whether that's Monday or Tuesday, and then vice versa. Whatever day that I don't train back, I train usually chest, pretty heavy and pretty intense. So the first four days are really hard, really heavy, um, intense training sessions. Whereas Thursday, Friday typically will be arms, shoulders, or like a whole upper body pump, something. I, I usually do have an idea of, of what I want to do on Thursday and Friday also, but today I come in and I thought it was going to be one of those days where we did just maybe some chest, maybe some back. Uh, I hate the term or the phrase touch up day. I don't. To me, that doesn't make sense. It means come in and do nothing. But uh, if I had no better words to say, I thought today was gonna be a touch-up day. Meaning where I was gonna train a little bit of chest, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of arms, a little bit of back. Instead, we crushed back. I was feeling it and I told uh, my buddy Fred that I've been training with here most of the time, I said, Today is a day that we put in work. Today is a day we burn a lot of calories, lift some fucking weight, have fun with it, supersets, drop sets, just let's just move, let's just work today. We just decided to crush back. Did a, a few sets of rear delts at the end also. Just, uh, just a touch up. But then I opened my mouth and said I need to do some calves. So just before I get on the cardio, just before I do 20 minutes of stairs, I have calves now. Calves going down. And we're gonna do it on the new fit, which I've never done on my calves before, but the new fit, if you guys aren't familiar with it, haven't seen my Instagram story where I posted some, some things on the new fit. This thing really works, guys. Now, there's a time and place for this machine. Uh, if you're not connecting with a muscle, it's great to use it before you train to connect with the muscle before you go and train. Uh, like, like if you can't hit your upper chest, you put the pads in your upper chest and you can uh, connect with, with your chest better, for example, pre-training. You can use it during training, throughout your, the full training session, or you can use it at the end also to just finish off and get, like when your muscles are dead, it's gonna make you contract even more at the end, like a, almost like a burnout type thing. I've done all of those. I actually put, I will put my name behind it and say I'm a believer in the new fits. I'm a believer in Chris, the man. He's the one that's hooking me up and helping me out. But like I said, never done the, the calves and I heard this is brutal. So let's do it, enough talking. I already know two sets, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it, with the calves. Two, two sets, and, and I know that that pain yeah. was nothing compared to what we've done before in like right. upper body like arms. Right. It's so but different I, with the calves. Dude, I already know. <laughs> I That's am the thing. It's so different with the calves. Rude for the next three or four days.